welcome back. I am making some crepes for breakfast today. So I will have very excited kiddos when they wake up. This is like one of their absolute favorite breakfasts ever. So I have a little bit more than three eggs. The recipe is three eggs though. Half a cup of water, half a cup of milk. Half a teaspoon of salt. Two tablespoons of sugar. Two tablespoons of melted butter. I'm actually going to substitute coconut oil and only do one tablespoon. And a little bit more. And one cup of flour. Good morning from the poolside again. The kids are wanted to do school and then come out in the pool, which I don't blame them. It's another beautiful day. It's gonna be almost 90 again today. So it is before lunchtime currently. So they're taking a swim. Then we'll go in and have some lunch. Then we'll do our group subjects. And then we'll probably come back out to the pool, right? Uh -huh. So this morning we got some more test results back on Layla and what the items that she can eat and what she can't, or can eat and can't eat and basically the poor child can have nothing. So changing up her diet is gonna be insane. Um, so I'm just like trying to, I've been spending all morning looking into things that I can sub out for some other things because she only eats a few select things and her stomach has still been very, very messed up um, and skin reactions and things like that. So we got some more testing done and she cannot have quite a bit of the foods that she was eating. So um, I'm gonna have to make a lot of adjustments and replacements and things for her. Um, she still cannot have the dairy either though. So the poor, poor baby. No wonder her stomach has always been a mess in, as a baby. No wonder I had like so many issues with her stomach as well still. Um, but glad we're getting it taken care of and figured out. And from now on, um, yeah, I just really, really need to be very careful about what I'm feeding her because everything that she can't have is in everything. So uh, like eggs, wheat, dairy, um, potatoes. I mean, there's so many things 
and um, we just really need to watch what we're giving her. So lots of substitutions coming up for her and things like that, but we'll figure it out. We'll make do and we'll make sure that her belly gets to feeling better for sure because who wants a hurt belly every single day, you know? Who? Nobody. Oh, also chicken. She can't have chicken. There's a whole list of things that we have to stay away from. Um, so tonight for dinner, I had the ribs on the menu that we actually had last night. Um, I didn't have tacos last night because we're out of sour cream and lettuce. And we had just had tacos on Sunday, chicken ranch tacos on Sunday. So I was thinking about, okay, well, we can do tacos tonight, even though I don't really feel like it. And then I was like, oh, well, no, we can't because we don't have sour cream or lettuce. So I just pulled out some steak and some chicken. So we'll grill that because I have some kids who don't really want steak, um, but now one that can't have chicken. So we're gonna grill both steak and chicken. Um, I think we're gonna do rice because she can have rice and some vegetable. So that way everything on there she can eat. Um, and I don't have to worry about, you know, I just won't give her any chicken. She'll eat the steak. So I don't baby. Um, yeah, I don't know. So it's going to be interesting over the next couple months navigating through all of this, um, figuring out what changes are going to be the best for her, but we'll make it work and we'll make sure that poor thing gets to feeling better. Water made me a dinner plan. Look, D-I-N-N-E-R plan. Look at this. What a good job he did. So here's Miss Layla's plate. She has some turkey, leftover corn, apples, and some sun butter. Let me show you. So I got this a while ago when she was having um, stomach issues and I wasn't sure if she could have peanut butter or not, but we never opened it because she seemed, I, I don't know, but I wasn't sure what was going on. So I got that for her. So she's gonna have this. So we're gonna substitute this for peanut butter for her. Thankfully I already had some. I'll grab some more from Sam's Club. So here's her little lunch. And Wilder is having leftover noodles, apple, and turkey. We finished our last science unit, which was weather and water. And so today we're going to start our wonders of energy <laughs> unit. <laughs> My goodness. So we're going to start this. This is from the good and the beautiful. And we really liked the weather and water one. So we're excited to start the energy. The kids picked out the energy one. So we're going to start this one today. So I was just printing out, I've been doing some research on what I'm going to do for Layla. So I think I'm going to start her a gluten-free sourdough starter with rice flour because I have my mill over there and I can make my own rice flour. So I start her this and hopefully I can get it to work. And then I also just printed out this gluten-free sourdough bread uh, recipe from Farmhouse on Boone so I can make her um, bread. I need to get a sandwich bread recipe too. I mean, I can't use this for sandwiches for her, but this is more of like a Dutch oven bread kind of thing, it looks like. Um, so tell me the best gluten-free sourdough, or gluten-free, yeah, sourdough sandwich bread recipes, because I need that for her. So if you have a good one, leave it down below, email it to me, um, send it to me on Instagram. Like, please do something because I need one that works. I know, well, I don't, know from experience, but I have heard gluten-free is very hard to do bake-wise. So baking like loaves of gluten-free bread apparently is hard. I've never tried it. Um, but I want to specifically do rice flour because I can get really big bags of rice and I can mill it myself. So that I believe is the route I'm going to go. So if you know a very good rice flour sourdough or rice flour, um, sandwich bread recipe or anything along those lines, please let me know, please. Also without eggs. So this is gonna be tricky. So I've got some things printed out to try. Um, I'll wait, I'm waiting until I get home because 
I what is today is Wednesday. Thursday, tomorrow we have school. Friday, I think we're gonna go to the grocery store and get our groceries. And then Friday, I also have to do all my prep for the weekend to do um, get school stuff set up and then get all the food and upstairs and ready for the week because I will be gone over the weekend. I am going down to North Carolina to see my parents and go to a Brandon Lake concert with my mom. And then I'm leaving Saturday and then I'll be back Sunday. So Gary will be here with the kids. His dad's gonna be here with the kids. Um, and they're gonna take care of, we're all, it's also the weekend that we happen to be selling our piglets. Um, so they're gonna take care of all of that while I'm gone. And um, so I won't be here to do all the stuff that I normally do on the weekend. So I wanna make sure I get it done ahead of time. Um, but since I won't be here, to do, I want to start the rice um, sourdough starter for her, but I won't be here to like do the feedings and stuff. So next week, I'm going to start on all this. So when I go to the grocery store, I'm going to get some gluten-free bread for her. Um, that way I have it on hand. That way Gary has it if she wants like her peanut butter and jelly because she doesn't eat much as it is. Um, and she can't have peanut butter and she cannot have uh, wheat. So or gluten or any of it. So um, I'm gonna get her gluten-free bread. She, she has the sun butter and she can have jelly. So at least he'll be able to get her through the weekend with that. Um, and then next week I'll really buckle down and try to start making her stuff, but I'm not gonna even worry about it until I get back. So I just came out, I just put our grocery list here in the car. Um, and I figured I'd talk to you out here just because it's a little bit quieter than inside with all the kids. Um, anyway, so I had no plans on going to the grocery store tomorrow. I thought about going Friday or next week when I get home from North Carolina because I didn't want to go get everything and then the fruits and veggies go to waste because they're not getting used the way I was thinking. But so I was like, oh, I'll just go next week. But then we're like out of a lot of stuff right now. So I was like, well, maybe I'll go this week. And then now after Layla's results got back this morning, um, after I made her crepes full of eggs and wheat, and then I felt horrible. Uh, anyway, so now I'm like, well, I need to go, you know, as soon as possible. So I have the things that I need for her. So as much as I wanted to wait until I got back from North Carolina, I'm actually just going to go tomorrow. That way I can give and have everything for Layla that she needs. And that way um, Gary doesn't have to worry about it while he's here with the kids by himself for the weekend and things like that. So, and oh, I was just thinking like, um, I mean, I'm only going to be gone Saturday and Sunday. I'm leaving at like mm, maybe nine or 10 on Saturday morning. And I'll be back, I'm leaving North Carolina in the morning on Sunday. It's gonna be a very quick trip. So I'm not gonna be gone too, too long that our stuff is gonna go to waste or get messed up or anything. So depending on the produce at Aldi, if it looks really, really great and fresh, then I'll get a lot of it that will last. If the produce looks horrible, I'm not gonna get it. But I've never really had that issue at Aldi. So, um, and then I'll just go back at the beginning of next week to get produce. So that's what we'll do. And then also there's going to be a break in video because I'm obviously not going to film anything Friday or I mean Saturday or Sunday because I'm going to be driving most of the time and then I'm going to be at the concert. So um, and also I'm not going to be able to edit videos those days either. So there will be two days that I won't have videos from those two days, but there also might be a longer break because I might have videos from this week that I would plan to edit over the weekend that aren't going to get edited over the weekend because I'm going to be gone and busy. So um, I don't even know when this video is going to go up. I don't know if it's going to go up before I leave or after. Um, so if it's before, you know, there's a video, I mean, a break coming up. If it's after, that's why there was a break because yeah. Um, anyway, I just got our grocery list in the car. Like I said, because I don't want to forget it in the morning. I did a grow, uh, a grow, a grocery order pickup for Walmart. I got some gluten-free things. I got some rice and, um, just some things that I'm going to need for Layla. Plus some other things that I already needed for Layla, like dairy-free stuff. 
Um, and then just some other things that I can't get at Aldi. So tomorrow I'm going to go to Aldi and then on the way home from, so we're going to pick up Walmart tomorrow and go to Aldi. And then on the way home from North Carolina, I might swing into Sam's club cause I passed Sam's club on the way home. Um, but that really just depends. And then also I had 15, I had $30 in credit for Walmart because of my broken plates. Um, Walmart did a really good job with them. They actually, I had to talk to them twice and each time I talked to them, they gave me a $15 promo code. So I got $30 off of our groceries tomorrow, which was nice. Um, and they paid for our dishes, which was really nice. I told them, I was like, I don't, like I don't want to return them. I don't really need the full refund. Only two of my dishes are broken out of both sets. Only two plates. Like everything else is great. I don't want to return them because I want to keep what I have. I don't need a full refund, but they did a full refund anyway. Um and I had to talk to them twice because the first time I had tried, it hadn't even registered that it had been delivered yet. So the guy was like, well, you have to wait until it comes um, and shows as delivered, even though it had been dropped off here. I had opened it, taken it inside, found out two of them were broken. He said it hasn't like showed up in their system yet as delivered. So he couldn't do anything about it. So he was like, here's a $15 promo code, whatever. So then a few hours later, um, I got back on there because it had been marked as delivered by then. And I was telling the girl and she was like, well, you can take them back for a full refund or you could do this or do that. And I was like, I don't I, like, that's not what I want. I just want to let you guys know two of my plates are broken. I don't want a full refund. I don't want to take them back. I want to keep what I have. I don't need all of the plates. It was only two. And I'm trying to explain this to her. And she's like, no, 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 no. It's our policy here. Here's a refund. And I was like, okay, thanks, like, that's great. So not only did I get the $15 promo code from the first chat, but they gave me a second one. And even then I was like, he gave me one earlier and she was like, it's okay. So I got $30 off of my grocery order for tomorrow from Walmart, which was really nice. If you missed, I got new dishes last week um, and I had to get two sets because they come in like sets of four. You get four bowls, four dinner plates, four salad plates. And we obviously need more, to, more than four. So I ordered two sets and Walmart delivered them and only two of the dinner plates broke. Everything else was fine, not chipped, nothing. Two of them were completely, well, one was completely in pieces. The other one, a corner of it was like, I mean, you couldn't use it. It wasn't a small chip. It was like part of the plate was off, um, but everything else was perfect. So Walmart did a really outstanding job though. I think that's the first and best time. Um, I mean, I've not really ever had like huge issues with Walmart but that is the best customer service I've ever had when it's come to Walmart for sure. And now that I just talked y'all's ear off, I'm gonna go back inside because that was kind of warm. So for dinner tonight, we're gonna do rice and I have some beef bone broth that Ooh, never, sometimes, yeah, that never, um, um, when I canned it, it didn't can properly. So I have this that I'm gonna cook the rice in. And I'm gonna put some of this plant-based butter and some garlic in here. And I'm just gonna put it in the instant pot and then hit the rice button. All right, so he is seasoning up the steak. This one's for the kids, the ones that will eat it. These are ours and we have the garlic red jalapeno thingy on ours. He's just putting the blend, which is just salt, pepper, garlic powder on theirs and then what did you want to put on the chicken? There's a chicken blend, I think, in here. Oh. And then we're just going to put this on the chicken breast, and he's just going to grill all of it. So he's going to put this on top of our steaks. It's just butter, Parmesan cheese, and a little bit of the blend, which is the salt, pepper, garlic powder. So we have our chicken done up, the one steak for the kids. So Layla will eat that. I'm sure Wilder, Ashlyn will eat this, and I'm sure Everly will eat a little bit of both. And then, like I said, here's our steak underneath of there. So he's going to take all that out, grill it. I've got the rice going, and I need to decide what vegetable we're going to have. Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? Looks so yummy. Yeah. You know what? Interestingly enough, I was just going over Gary's test, or Layla's test results with Gary. Interestingly enough, although it says cow's milk, yogurt, cheese, all of that, says butter is okay. So I might try to start using regular butter with her. That is amazing. Yeah, look, look at these steaks. I'm really excited. Oh, I'm so 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 excited. O
really excited to dig into the steak. He always makes the best little butter thingy to put on top and it's always so good. So dinner was delicious. The par garlic parmesan, whatever he puts on there is always so good. Try it. I don't have any measurements because he just throws it in there. He cooks like I do. But anyway, we're running out the door to go take the kids to Awana. So that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.